So now what we see is the multiplication property in simple equation. Let me just increase the width. This property says that if you have a left hand side of the equation and you have a right hand side of the equation, if you multiply both these sides by the same number, say you multiply LHS into 5, if it is an equation, then the results in both the case will be the same. By performing multiplication on both the sides, the value which is derived on the left hand side and the right hand side are going to be equal. Now you might be thinking, why should I do this? Why should I multiply? I'll tell you. Many a times what happens is that you may get variables which are kind of a fraction. Let us say you get 8 by 40 x is equal to how much? Say 10. So in this case the question which comes up is that how do I kind of compute what is the value of x? Now there could be two things, either I can multiply this number such that I get a whole number. Right now what I have is a fraction. Now this 8 by 40 can also be written as 8 by 40 into 1 into x or 8 by 40. Now one can, one can also be written as what? Suppose you multiply this entire left hand side by 40 is equal to 10 into 40. So what happens? I can cancel out this 40 with this 40. I mean this is also one of the properties that we had learnt in our earlier class. So what am I left? 8 into x. So I get 8 times x is equal to how much? 400. So what is the value of x? What I can do here is I can also divide this by 8 and I can also divide this by 8. So 8 divided by 8 gives me 1. So what am I left with? x is equal to and I divide 8 and 400 I will get 50 here. You can do this multiplication and division. So basically what are the two things we learnt here? If you multiply the left hand side and right hand side by the same number the results will remain unchanged. Similarly if you divide left hand side by a particular number say x and you also divide right hand side by say x which I did when I did this division here. Then also the results remain unchanged. So this is the multiplication and division rule of simple equation. You would come to know more about it as you do your practice. Let me take you through some examples here. Let us take an example here. So suppose I take 4 times what do you take? x plus 6 is equal to 36. Now, this is what? My left hand side. This is my right hand side. So, what did I know? I learned the property that if I divide for both the sides, by same number my results remain unchanged. So what do I do? Now I have 4 by x plus 6 is equal to 36. So I divide both these sides by 4. So I have 4 into x plus 6 divided by 4 is equal to 36 divided by 4. Now 4 times 
x plus x. So this 4 will cancel out with this 4 and I get what? 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1 into x plus 6. Now 36 by 4 can also be written as what? 18 into 2 divided by 2 into 2. Right? Or further it can be written as what can be 18 be written as? 18 can be written as 9 into 2 into 2 right divided by 2 into 2. So these two can cancelled with each other. These two gets cancelled with each other. What am I left with? I am left with 9. So what do I get here? I get x plus 6 is equal to 9. Now the other thing that I learnt is if I subtract the same number from both sides I get the same result. What did I tell you? I told you that I need to reduce this left hand side to only x. How is this possible? If I subtract what? 6 from here and I also subtract 6 from the other side. So this 6 minus 6 is 0 I am left with x. 9 minus 6 is equal to sorry this is the equal sign 3. And that's how I solved my equation. Should I put the value here? I get 4, 3 plus 6, which is 4 times 9. And this is, I know, is 36. So this 36 is equal to this 36. So therefore, my value of x is same. The idea is just reduce this left-hand side to the variable.